occasion, floating in the pool, multiple gunshot wounds. Homeowner's never seen him before. Of course he's never seen him. His head's in the bag. The two murder cases had matching MOs. Prince are torched off. This guy leaves nothing behind. Not a hair, not a shell casing, nothing. You need to get creative and figure it out. Being a homicide detective must be tough. You still experiencing insomnia? Well, I woke up standing on my front lawn. I really think we should continue with the hypnotherapy. Do I have your permission to start? There's been another murder. This film promises to be surprising. It's, it's, it's a great progression. I think the characters are very well developed. It's a twist. I don't want to be, uh, you know, too sh I don't want to be cliche, but the twist is unexpected. It's fun. Um, it's stylized in a way where the lighting, the music hits everything really well. It's thrilling. It's deep and it's kind of scary. So it's suspenseful nonetheless. I play Detective Ben Hayes. It's his story of what seems to be happening in his dreams, which is also transferring into reality, trying to figure out why he's a, de a homicide detective. And all these people end up dead, but who to blame? She's in your head, man. I feel like I'm going insane. This is what happens to people when they don't sleep. This movie is a psychological thriller about a homicide detective who can't sleep at night and he's having visions. And I play his wife, who is loving, supportive. She's gone through some stuff in her past, but really she's just trying to get through the day and we're all trying to be a normal person, right? <laughs> but we all have something underneath that normal person that we're trying to be. I think it's, I think it's okay to, for me to say that I, I could find something to relate to my character Albeit she does have a very dark side, but I think we all have secrets, and she has secrets, and I, and I can relate to that, and well, I need to keep those close to my chest. I play the chief of one of the chief of police in terms of uh, overseeing the, the investigation that two detectives are supposed to be bringing me evidence for, and they're not doing such a great job at the point that I'm talking to them. Uh, so, uh, so I'm encouraging them, quote unquote, to get it together and bring me something I can actually use. Um, and so far, they're just messing up. So I'm not too happy with these two characters. Uh, and they're investigating murders, a uh, series of murders. The whole project was pushed over a year uh, because of COVID, uh, along with a few other projects that I was scheduled to work on. So that just took the whole year and a half almost just to get to it. And then they had to be very, very, very careful uh, on set. And they were, it was great, uh, making sure that nobody got sick while filming so we could get in and get out and get it done safely. I have a cop role in it towards the end of the film when all the shit is going down. Uh, you know, they call the, the police the backup. I'm one of the backup police officers that come in and try to uh, try to help the situation that you'll see when you see the movie. I played uh, Detective Beckett and um, it's a nice little thriller horror. I don't want to give away too much of it because I've already shot myself in the foot by telling too much about it. So yeah, it's a nice little thriller horror. It's actually, it's a long time coming. I mean, you know, because of COVID, it, was, it pushed, you know, the release date back and everything. But I'm excited, you know, for the world to be able to see it now. So it's going to be a great one. Hi, my name is Lou Ferrigno Jr., and you've just been buzzed.